Now from a field that will host Super Bowl 58 come February. There's a good look inside Allegiant Stadium just off the 15 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Jimmy going to look to throw it on the first play. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. Right, he'll be dropped at the 30. And a shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Garoppolo now. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on their perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's, and this throw brought in here by Mayer. Another completion right there, and again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive, been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. A first carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A nice carry by Jacobs, who's coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a throw here to his running back. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways. But you're right, they want to run their offense through him. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Jacob's going to try the middle, and he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here 
not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Garoppolo now on third and goal. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Carlson is good, and the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. field goal. Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And from his end zone, here's Gary Brightwell. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The New York set to take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Throwing Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now the NFC's leading rusher a season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now Jones. And yeah, that one's going to be off target and incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Here's Jones, throwing on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So just three yards on the completion there. 
And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. first down and it's incomplete well that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result they took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion here's second and ten Garoppolo looks to throw once more. He gets this to Devontae Adams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Now Garoppolo. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. 
So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Looking to throw, Jones. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it, just because he's one of the biggest targets, not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. On the draw, this is Barkley. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route, but he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. A first down carry for Barkley. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Shepard. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance, and this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary, and that's a job well done there. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. The short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. 
Under four to go now as they come up on second down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Out of the gun now on third down. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Gano's kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at six to three. Well, we still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage that they need. through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 26. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now Garoppolo is in trouble and down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Garoppolo looks to throw. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Boy, hard to catch your breath. Another big play looming, fourth and three. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. First down, Garoppolo. Connecting with Renfro. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with Oates. They'll come up now on second down. Now Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And 
that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Back to throw, Garoppolo. That one taken in by Adams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 36. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. To throw is Garoppolo. Throw out wide is incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Garoppolo to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. He'll look to throw. The open man here, Renfro. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this one is right down Broadway. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled?
So the first crack here in overtime goes to the New York Giants as we are back underway. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Off the play fake, Jones. And he's caught downfield, it's Waller. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now Jones on first and 10. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They go play action here on first down. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the 5 to the 3. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. To throw is Jones. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And it's up and good to extend the lead to 13-6. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. 
From his end zone, here comes Carter. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So out come the Raiders. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Garoppolo to throw on second down. And that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He gets this to Myers, and he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route, and they just executed that one pretty well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Able to connect with Jacobs. And not a whole lot there, maybe three yards on first down. Second and seven. Garoppolo. Open man is Myers. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 44-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Adams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. Over the middle complete. It's Jacobs. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I've worked with you long enough now to know you like that decision. Go safe, pressure coming, hit your guy underneath. It's an excellent decision, but he knew it came with consequences, and that's him getting hit on the play, but able to dump it to his running back and gain some yardage. I liked everything about it, especially his ability to stay in the pocket and execute. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Adams. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And his pass incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline, there's a head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it, field goal time. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Another one in the books for us, partner. Always great to be by your side. And look, both offenses, both defenses had some moments in this one, but I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on film. Absolutely, partner. And let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.